Hi, in this video, I would be talking about the structural details of the TLR, the toll-like receptors. So the toll-like receptor has three particular domain. One domain is extracellular domain. Another domain is TIR domain, which is toll interleukin one homology domain. It accurate its name because it has a homology with interleukin one receptor. And also it has a transmembrane domain, which is actually embedded in the membrane. Now, if we talk about the right hand side structure, it is an extra crystallographic structure of TLR3. And TLR3 does not work individually. It actually homodimerize with each other and then it can detect viral DSDNA. So you can also see here the viral double stranded DNA is actually co-crystallized with this particular uh, TLR3. And now the whole structure of the TLR3 is not depicted here. Only the head region, the leucine rich re re repeats, the LRR domain is actually depicted over here. So now we would look into the uh, details, molecular details of the exterior domain and TIR domain separately. So uh, let's talk about the exterior domain or the extracellular domain uh, of the TLR and in our case it's TLR3 so here we have the PDB file the protein data bank file which is actually uh, the atomic coordinates for the extra crystallographic structures so if you open the PDB file for TLR3 we would find something like this and uh, the uh, here you can see it has quite similarity with that diagram that I have shown you earlier we would change the display a little bit and it's look uh, uh, quite similar and now we would see the structural details how much helices it have how much beta sheets it have and we would also see the leucine rich repeats so let's uh, write in the common common prompt select helices so it would say 1482 atoms are selected so 12482 atoms are in the helix so now uh, we would uh, color it with a different color we would give it a red color and you can see when i uh, press that so the uh, helices region are actually colored with red now let's see how much beta sheet it have let's see we would type se select beta sheets Oh, it takes actually select sheets and it would say two eight eight six atoms are selected and we would uh, color it green and you can see the beta plated sheets are actually colored green and now we want to see the portion of the leucine which repeats so we would select leucine and we would color them in cyan and we would change a little bit display and now you can see all the uh, leucine residues are actually colored so you can see the uh, along these backbone of this particular question mark like structure which are actually two TLRs dimerize, homodimerize with each other, you can see there are a lot of leucine rich repeats. Now if you zoom into it, you can see there are a lot of leucine rich uh, leucine residues and there are a whole lot of them. So that is why it is called the leucine rich repeats. And let's talk about the structure of the TIR domain. So we would open the structure for the TIR domain and if we open the structure of the TIR domain it's a bit more simplistic and and now we would uh, just label the helices
and we would color the and we would color the helixes uh, yellow. Turns and now you can see this is the basically structure of the TIR domain that I have shown you earlier. So it has one uh, bit ablated sheet and it actually have uh, five alpha helices. So here one, two, three, four, uh, five and six. So it has six alpha helices you can see and there are other these white portions are actually the turns and this uh, TIR domain is essential because the toll-like receptor adapter MyD88 MyD88 is stands for uh, myeloid differentiation factor it also have this particular TIR domain so TIR TIR interaction actually help uh, the, uh, the in the signaling pathway which we would see in details in the sig TLR signaling so that's all about the uh, structural details of TLR and it's a uh, extracellular and intracellular domain so if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up and if you haven't subscri subscribed yet please subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments below thank you